Good morning, Mineola and beyond, um, siblings in, in Christ. Um, I come to you today from my home as, as I am, um, with my boys and I am very aware that yesterday was a tough day, uh, with a lot of anxiety and turmoil and chaos, both for our country, also for us as individuals, and probably within our families and friend groups. Um, as I said on Tuesday, I've been reading this new book called Undrowned by Alexis Pauline um, Gums, and I looked up, that is how you pronounce uh, her name properly, so, um, and we did chapter one or meditation one on listen on Tuesday and two was breathe which I think is apropos for today and for our moment both in our personal lives as well as our um, collective experience right now um, I want to read just a couple sentences that she wrote about breathe. Breath is a practice of presence. We are often navigating contexts that seem impossible for us to breathe in, and yet we must. It's time to remember that there is more than one way to breathe in icy depths or summer heat. To thank our ancestors for how we have evolved to the presence of threats. To think on what we want to shift, how we want to grow and what we need to remember. <sighs> to breathe, for me, in my faith journey particularly, has come to the point of understanding the spirit and the spirit's movement through myself and through my body. And what... Um, Alexis Pauline Gums has reminded me of or expanded for me in the understanding of breath and breathing is as individual as it feels, this thing that comes in and out, this thing that connects me to the breath of God, to the Holy Spirit, is also the very thing that we do collectively, that we as people breathe in each other, in relationship to each other and to the world and to creation. And this book, Undrowned um, Lessons from uh, Marine Mammals, is the understanding that we are all connected through this breath, this breathing that we do. Um, and that there's power and beauty and and presence in that and to be present to that. I don't know how you're reacting or what you might be needing today or in the days and weeks and months to come. I think we were also hopeful for 2021, but we are living through a particular time that feels like maybe we can't breathe this in and yet we must. And God is with us in that, that this breath is the breath of God in and through and amongst us. And that we can adapt and learn and shift and change. 
as hard as that is, as uncomfortable as that always has been, with God, all things are possible. And so this Thursday, I lift to you, I invite you to breathe, to connect to the Spirit of God, to connect to those around you, to open yourself up through your breath as you breathe in and realize that you are part of this beautiful universal creation that God has for all of us, has given to all of us. And so with that, let us pray. Holy God, creator of this universe, creator of each of us and all that is and was and will be. We come to you this day humbled before you. With whatever emotions we are experiencing at this time, whatever anxieties and fears and frustrations and angers we bring, help us to also remember the joys and the gifts, the laughter, the chuckles and the smirks. And that all of this and in all of this, you are with us. We come today with prayers for those within our community Especially, we continue to pray for Charlie and his whole family as they navigate new waters around his care. We ask you to be with Ashley as she continues to have seizures and hope that she um, soon is able to, to find some peace. We pray for David and Yvonne, for David as he continues to recover, and for Yvonne as she continues to wait and pray and hope. Help them both know that we are with them, waiting and praying and hoping alongside them, as are you. We pray for all in our congregation, those that we know in our communities, our friends and family, who are dealing with new diagnoses. With those who are recovering and or suffering with COVID. We continue to pray for those in our community who work in the medical system, our educators and our civil servants. So much is being asked of all of them. Be with them in the midst of this day, in the midst of their experiences. Help us breathe. Breathe in your love and compassion and mercy, the spirit of God. And let us also release that breath into the world. And as we do each week, let us pray for four of our Mineola families. Holding them, especially this week, is Steve Blockstead, Roger and Elaine Heelan, Karen McGovern, and Jackie Schott. For all of these and for their families and loved ones, may they experience the deep and never-ending love of God this day and throughout their lives. And we pray for our country. We know that through you, all things are possible. Help us continue to find a path forward together. May peace come. And a peace that is just.
for all this, for all that sits in our hearts and on our minds, we bring before you our beloved creator. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our savior and our Lord. Amen. Well, peace to each and every one of you this Thursday. I hope you are able to breathe.